everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. I um, wanted to give a quick update on this Limitless project that I'm working on. I am, uh, I received some parts today and I've already started making the modifications that, that I wanna make before we even try it for the first time. Uh, like the motor mount, um, replacing the, the input cups to the Scorched RC ones because the original ones are too wobbly and the whole, the whole shaft wobbles. Now Scorched RC, they did not have the, the drive shafts in stock that I needed. So I am gonna use a stock drive shaft, but I did get the front drive shaft that I needed and this is the most important one. This is the one that wobbles the most and makes the most vibration. So as long as I have the good input cups here and there, this drive shaft will do just fine. Um, let's see what else. So, so the motor itself is, is, like I mentioned, the same one that is in the infraction. Uh, this is not the motor that's gonna be in this car permanently. Uh, the one that's gonna be here is the 1721 uh, with the XLX2. Um, the, uh, another problem that we were having with the infraction when we got our 116 mile an hour pass was voltage drop from the batteries. So I did some research and I got these in the mail today and I also have some SMC ones on the way that we're gonna try and see which ones perform better. Uh, if these perform better, I'm gonna get more of these. If the SMC performs better, I'm gonna get more of those. Um, so besides that, I got, I got the top torsion bar from Scorched RC and I'm actually working with, with Stupid RC to make some custom wings for the front and the back. And I'm working with a machinist friend of mine who is going to make me a stretched body. Basically, the whole frame is gonna be custom and it's gonna be another 10 inches longer than this. So it, it's, I don't know, I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out looking like, but, but we're gonna make the body uh, sit pretty much the same and the back end is gonna be extended out so we can fit two 1721s into the car with two XLX ESCs. Um, I think it's gonna be sweet and I, I think it's gonna work. Uh, there's a lot that's going into making this happen. So I hope you guys stick around and, and subscribe. Uh, got a lot of stuff coming. And I haven't even talked about, about these trucks right here. Um, this is my Creighton and there, <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna reveal what, 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 what this thing is right now but this thing is built and and you can see i got scorched rc on the outside but this this thing this thing's got a lot under the hood and th th this thing this thing is quite a beast and i am going to make some videos with this uh just uh, not n not right now i'll put it back in its home and that thing is in the process of being built currently um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and install the Strident and I'm going to install this torsion bar. And this weekend, you guys will see the, the maiden voyage, let's call it, of this Limitless, the very, very first drive. I'm never gonna test it, I'm never gonna try it. I'm not gonna do anything at all until this weekend. And you guys will see this thing go on its very, very first drive. So guys, I've been at this for a while now, and um, man, I was having some troubles over here with this uh, brace on top. So when I would attach this side, it's like the holes would not line up well. So I literally had to flex the whole car a little bit just to get these holes to line up. 
Well, when I would get these holes to line up, these holes would not line up very well. So I would have to basically pull this whole, this whole motor mount forward just to get the screws to go in. Well, I finally got them to go in and it literally made it so this 2028 would no longer fit in here. It would hit up against this and it would no longer fit. So man, I, I tried everything. I looked through all these instructions and I, I, I could not figure out what the heck I was doing wrong. And I don't think I was doing anything wrong. Um, everything is built exactly how it's supposed to be built. And what I ended up having to do is take my drill and drill these holes out one size bigger. And when I drilled the holes out one size bigger over here and one size bigger over here, it gave it just enough room that the holes lined up somewhat. They still didn't line up perfectly, but I was able to get all the screws in and I was able to get the motor in without this whole car being like flexed in by this bar. And it still does have some torsion on it, which I think is good. Um, it does make the car more rigid and it worked very well on my infraction. I've had no problems with alignment, so I'm kind of surprised that I've had alignment issues with this. Um, that being said, uh, I did see that the motor was resting up on this piece over here a little bit, so I had to cut that down, and now the motor sits fine, so I got that done. So now I'm finally about to drop this motor in, and, and I got a new gear for it. And the gear that I got is kind of ridiculous. Look at this thing. Look at that massive thing. It's um, 56.2. Uh, doing the math on it, um, this motor will be able to handle it. As long as I do a, um, a pass and cool, then pass and cool, uh, just don't do more than one pass back and forth. It should not overheat the motor. But yeah, this gear, this gear ratio is pretty nutty. Uh, kind of, <laughs> it's but it does fit. It does fit. I did try that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed. I'm going to get the motor installed, and then I'm gonna show you how everything looks. And that's the way it's gonna stay for one pass this weekend. And then after that, we will be going to the 1721 motor. All right, guys. Here she is. All done in its final form for this weekend run for the very first time. Um, my tires did not yet arrive for it, which I ordered the exact same ones as these GRPs, um, but the ones that I got are black instead of gray, because I think the gray matches the infraction very well. Um, so I borrowed these from the infraction which is kind of weird. I really hate doing that. It almost makes you feel bad taking any parts off of a car that I'm also working on that I really love and putting it on another car. I almost feel like I'm cheating on it. <laughs> but I did it. Um, uh, the, these are on here now. That uh, Well, honestly, unless the, the, the other ones arrive before Saturday, which I don't think they will, tracking shows that they will be here on Monday. So these will have to be the first tires that it runs with. But, but I mean, like I said, here it is. The motor is in, the new torsion bar is in, the, the new spool is in, the motor mount is in, the Trident drive shaft is in. Um, we've got new batteries, new motor, new ESC. Um, so it's ready to go. And look at that massive gear. Look at her, guys. Doesn't she look pretty? All set up and ready to go.
Ready to rock. This thing is gonna be great. I can not wait to see this thing flying down the road. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. This is meant as just a quick update. Um, I hope this video didn't turn out to be too long, but um, I see a lot of new subscribers. Thank you very much guys. I really hope you like the content. Um, we're gonna do a lot of big things here, make these cars go fast, bash those cars. So thank you guys, like and subscribe. Have a good day, bye.